Hello everybody, I'm John Bishop. Um, I'm glad that you've come to listen to Byron. I have to be honest, I met him a few months ago when I was on tour. I was in Cambridge and I got a letter to go and see him in the Addenbrookes Hospital. It came via the Teenage Cancer Trust, who were a brilliant charity that Byron was involved in. It was lovely to meet him. I went into his room and met him and his mum. I you know, got an email off his mum telling me that he was my number one fan. And then when I got in there, he was reading Michael McIntyre's autobiography. So he's not really my number one fan. It's just that Michael McIntyre couldn't be asked even a video for him. That's the truth of the matter. And that's why I'm here. Anyway, enjoy it. Listen to the man. He's inspiring and he's somebody special. Thank you. from a teacher's point of view. Um, but it was, it was strange because you don't, you don't expect to hear that about anybody at a young age. I suppose in a way you don't ever expect to hear it about anyone, but in particular, you don't expect to hear that about someone of that particular age. We were so worried about grades and university and getting Byron through his exam. Um, and that all became really insignificant. Um, in about August, after I just finished my A-level results, um, I had a pain in my side. I went to the doctors about it and they just said it was, um, they just said it was muscular pain, so that's so, all so I thought it was. And they, they sent me for an ultrasound, had an ultrasound, they had a look, and uh, you know, it's definitely, definitely something there. They said, you've got a cancerous tumour that's um, spread up to your lungs. Uh, I remember when I first went to go see Byron in hospital and I bought him like some gum or some mints or something because he just started his chemo and I thought he'd have been like throwing up everywhere and everything like that. Uh, but when I first saw him I was really shocked because he was actually really well and he was dealing with the chemo really well. So I wasn't Um, when we got home, the um, phone was sort of ringing off the hook, and it was Adam that was saying, "Oh, we've got a bed for you." So we thought, "All right, that was quick." So that that evening, we went to Adam Brooks, and I was in referred to hospital on the teenage cancer trust ward. I, I don't know. I, it took me a while to sort of. I mean, I, just, I still don't think it's hit me yet. Yeah, no, as soon as Byron got into the private ward with the teenage cancer trust, it was a lot nicer because, um, you know, we could chill out, play some pool, and I think it made the whole experience a lot nicer for Byron. Um, obviously, teenage cancer trust is a charity. Um, they gave him quite a lot of stuff, so no, it really does make a difference. It really does help. So. Um, well, when I first found out, it was actually from Byron himself. So I know what Byron's like, he likes a bit of a joke, so like, at first I didn't really take it seriously. But I could tell that something was definitely up, like I knew he wasn't uh, sort of, like, completely joking about it. I knew he was actually ill when like, they switched him on the phone. So how they tested for my cancer was with a, with a pregnancy tester. So <laughs> if that came back positive, um, it was testicular cancer. I mean, at this point, I thought I was going to have my own Channel 4 documentary. I mean, I had this thing growing inside me, and I already had an ultrasound, and a pregnancy tester has come back positive. So, <laughs> I found it quite funny. Teenage Cancer Trust War was just incredible. It was, uh, it was a family. People there we got to know were, were like our family for, for a few months. There were people there to help us, talk to us, make us feel welcome, comfortable. Without that, it would have been, been horrendous anyway, but without that ward, it would have been, it just would have been awful. So then I had surgery and I had a bollock off in surgery because it was testicular cancer. And I had this tumour removed from my abdomen 
and uh, sort of the lymphatic system removed from the back of my stomach. Um, when my friends came in and saw me, that was, I mean, that was really good. So just sitting there and talking to them and then just, you know, joking around and stuff like that. Just thinking, no, it's not that bad. It felt like before all of this had happened, I was sort of walking around blind. And now this has happened, it feels like every day is a bonus. The same. I think my favourite saying that sort of helped me along was um, yesterday, yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery and today's a gift. I did get that quote from Kung Fu Panda but I mean <laughs> it's a good quote anyway.